Hello, um, YouTube. Today I'll be showing you how to make a CS3 uh, web animation or an image animation using the CS3 web kit transformation. Okay, now what I have here is the web. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this. What I have here is the web here, my website page, whatever. And this is basically a div named um, head, and this is the navigation bar. This is my site's logo, but it's actually just a text grand date. And this is the image I'm using to revolute, well, for the rotation. It's uh, Earth, as you can see. Now, Oh, and the background image is the background image, I guess. And this is another div, which I'm going to use to contain all my other, all my other content, so like images, videos, and stuff like that. And this is the folder I have them all saved in. Index is this page. Con uh, mods style is here. Images. As you can see, this is the background image. This is the earth image. And this is the dragon image. Well, I'm not really using the dragon image. The dragon image. Anyways. What you basically need to do is go ahead and create this. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in for you. Right here. Type in WebKit. Be right back. Excuse me. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in for you here. Uh, what you need to type in is at WebKit keyframes rotate. Before you start the uh, the, uh image tag here. Um, now this is where it starts off. From this is where it starts off. WebKit transformation. Rotate zero degrees. Or if you wanted to ro uh, start off in any degrees or any other degrees, my bad. Just set it. For example, I'm going to go ahead and set it to start off at a 15 degrees. Oh my god. And if I set it to start off at 15 degrees and we start it, it starts off at 15 degrees. If I set it to start off at uh, 50 degrees. It starts off at 50 degrees. See? 50 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it off to start off at 0 degrees for my liking. And restart it. And yeah. And this is where it goes to. I set it to 360 degrees so it doesn't glitch every time the rotation is complete. Because this is a mini earth anyway. Anyways, um. <coughs> So 360 degrees basically goes all the way back to zero degrees and then starts off again. What you need to do is go type in two that little colon, uh, whatever you call it, uh, brackets, whatever, and dash webkit dash transformation colon rotate 360 degrees or any other degrees that you want to. Uh, basically rotate it. Now, what you're gonna need to do is start the image tag here. Was the image uh, properties here? Uh, so, as you can see, my image is located in head and image. Okay. So head image. Now, what you need to do is a uh, WebKit animation name, and the name is rotate. As you can see here. Anyways, animation duration. Uh, I mean, WebKit animation duration, 150 seconds. This is what that little S is for. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in for you there. You know what? That's what this little S is for. For seconds. That's how fast basically it goes. And for example, if I set this to 170 degrees, I mean seconds. Is going to slow down. If I set it to 50, it's going to speed up. See? If I set it to 2 seconds, it's still going to speed up. 
See, but I wanted to set to 155. I guess I like this. I like this better. This suits it. 155 degrees. And by the way, once the once the rotation is is complete, what it does is starts to slow down and then restart again to wherever you set it to. Okay. And the animation iteration count infinite that means that the animation will continue to rotate forever basically and the trans uh, transition timing function is basically where where it's supposed to rotate basically the image was supposed to rotate so linear and my image is rotating linear see and yeah that's basically it for this and I will leave you a source code on the description if you'd like uh, if you'd like you could just copy and paste it and also be sure to change the well I'll just delete that for you in the description anyways thank you for watching subscribe and like comment suggest anything you like peace out